I was recently asked how we could get continual transition or motion between slides. So this is what I came up with. Here's our first slide. We're going to click on it. We're going to drag it and drop it into slide number one. Double clicking will open the slide option dialog box. What we're going to do is we're going to go to layers. We're going to drop down to layer settings, scaling from fit to frame. We're going to change to fill frame to open everything up. We're using Pro Show Gold 4 here, but you can easily follow this in all versions of Pro Show Gold. And it's the same in Pro Show Producer 4 as well. Right, next thing, we're going to go to effects. We're going to come down to this icon here. This is the, oh, it's telling me there, copy motion effects, clicking on it. And we can now copy end to next slide. So let's click on that and you'll notice it just popping in there, this slide number two. Let's pop along to slide number two. There it is. What we're going to do with this is start off the motion effect. That's the start position. This is the end position. Going to click down, grabbing hold of it. You can see my little fist there and pulling it to the side. The strength or what? What we're trying to look for is the magic figure of zero and 100, which is nearly there. And you just take it a little bit more, a little back a little bit, up and down a little. And I'll tell you what, this can be so much fun. You re don't really want to sort of click on this and delete it and sort of make it into 100. Because once you've achieved it once, it's just so gratifying. There you go. Right, so let's come to the next slide. Clicking on this, pressing down control and holding down control so it copies it onto this layer. Double clicking. We can now come to layers. We can now come again to layer settings and we can come to fill frame. Let's come to the effects. You see the layers building up here. There's the start position there. There's the end position. The start position on this one, don't forget it was the end on slide number two. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take this off to the right. And again, looking for that magic 100. We've got our zero. Nearly had our zero. Got our zero. Nearly had it. Do you see what I mean about how much fun this can be? Or, oh, look at that, spot on. Great stuff. Quit while you're ahead. Let's click OK. No, I'm not. Got so excited then. We're going to come and we're going to click on this icon here. Again, to copy motion effects. <laughs> copy to the next slide. And we're going to click OK to that. Let's take a look. This is what we've got so far. This is just using two, uh, two images and we've got three slides. The first one, we're going to put in a figure of one. Let's take a look. As this comes across, looking at that little preview there, you can see they've got that horrible ghost in effect. Let's click in a box and put in a zero. The ghost in effect will now have gone. And if we grab hold of the slider, go on, please. All right, if we click here and uh, play, you can see that's going to come across a little bit too fast. And then it ghosts into this area here. So once again, we're going to put in zero. This was uh, three, we're going to take that to four. We want this one here to be just on screen for a brief view, so we're going to put one second in there. You'll notice as well this icon telling us that there are multiple slides or layers on this particular slide. Right, let's double click. Once again, we're going to come to the motion effects there, the copy motion effects, copy to next slide. Let's click OK to that. We're going to introduce a new slide. Now, of course, that was going from left to right, or was it right to left? But you can go in any direction you want. So let's click on this one. Just love the expression. Double click it. Layers. We're going to come down to fit to frame. So there it is. I've actually copied in two. I must have had one highlighted. I'm going to leave this for just a second, but it's showing us now the layer stack here. If we come to the effects, Let's just take a look. There it is there. It's a copy of the image. Just switching this one off so you can see how useful this is. We switch that on and off and you can see there's the other one. So that's the one I copied in. That's the one there. You can see which is the full frame one. So what we can now do is because this one I added by mistake, it's showing up. It's brilliant. So we can come along and I made this mistake deliberately so I can show you this. We can actually delete it. So now we can come back to our original. You believe that, you'll believe anything. <laughs> right, coming to this, the start position here, the end position we want to take up this time. We're going to lift it up into the air like that. Again, looking for the zero and looking for the 100. Nearly there. Almost. That'll do. Great stuff. All right, really close. Now clicking and bringing this layer as live. There's the start position. 
there's the end position so what we want to do now is we want to drag this down under that area there so coming down again looking for the figures don't forget you can of course swipe and you can put in zero there and you can come across to oops I clicked on that little icon there which puts put me back so you can just quite literally swipe on this and put in 100 that's dropped it down and if you just click play you'll get a preview of what's going to happen there's that blur effect don't worry we can take it out but you can see the slides coming there to the end position once again what we're going to do is click on the motion and end to next slide across that goes let's click OK to that so there's the story so far don't forget let's put in a zero there while we think about it and a zero there as well with this one double click in to open this up once again copy copy end to next slide let's click OK let's scroll our way along let's add this one here there it is the bride arriving and we're going to drop that in there double click in I think she actually wrote in by the Rolls Royce there, not by the TVR. I think I prefer the TVR though. Clicking on this and fill frame like that. Yeah, must be sat on the wrong side. And uh, let's come to effects. And for this one now, what we're going to do is click on this layer. So this is the live layer. There's the start position. We're going to grab hold of her there. We're going to take her off to the side there. And again, looking for that uh, zero and that uh, 100. Nearly and uh, go on you can do it well you could if you go in the right way alternatively of course you can just delete this out of it which makes things a lot quicker and easier right clicking on the next layer this layer here we're going to bring this one out to the right hand side like that you can tell I have fun can't you right and um, just again looking for the hundred will we or won't we well, that's as close as makes no difference. Nearly spot on. Great stuff. Finally, coming to the copy end to next slide again. Let's go to the next slide. What we're going to do with this now is on the end position, we're going to zoom in like that. Bringing it in. Let's give it a little bit of rotate as well. Not that way. That way could look pretty good. Just a little bit of rotation. Great stuff. Let's click OK. Let's check the diamonds out. What have we got here? We've got the multiple slides there, so we're going to put in four. This is the on-screen one. You can see it's just a single slide. There's no icon there, so we're going to put in one. Multiple slides, again, we're going to put in four. This is the finish. I want to put in six for that, make it a bit longer. Making sure as well we take out the zero, so I'm just going to press Control and click on this slide. Clicking on that, putting in zero and pressing Enter will change them both automatically. Let's go to the beginning, clicking on slide number one. Let's see what we've created in this short sequence. We've now got the images moving off to the side there, coming to the next slide. Before it goes up like that, you can of course take it up, down. You can even take it diagonally. There it is, coming from the right hand side like that. We'll stop in and then zoom in. So there you are. Give it a try. It really does work a treat. As I say, it works in all versions of Pro Show Gold and Producer. Any questions, comments, thoughts, please leave a comment. Subscribe to the videos as well. Until the next time, happy imaging and take care.